in the previous example, we had a program with the gyroscope on the servo, and if the gyroscope read back a negative value, we'd have the servo turn in this direction. If the gyroscope read out a positive value, we'd have the servo turn in this direction. Now we're going to do the same thing with the robot. We're just going to take the gyro and put it on the robot. So if the robot's in this direction, we'll have it turn to here. If the robot's in this direction, we'll have it turn to there. That's going to be the first part, so let's take a look. If I press the program control button, it's going to have the gyroscope calibrate, and then it's going to try to face towards zero. So if I turn the robot, it'll always turn around to face back towards where that zero point is. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all that and put it into a function. So we can say turn 90, and it'll turn 90 degrees. So here's an example of a robot that's turning 90 degrees, turn 90 degrees, and you will have the option of turning either absolute or uh, relative based on where you're currently facing. We're also going to do the same thing in Android Studio, so with the FTC robots, you can program that same thing. So here's an example of the FTC robot where we have buttons, and the buttons are changing the target value by 45 degrees. So you can press the button, it'll turn 45 degrees in the, the direction that you specify.